Hi everyone, this is Explorer867 and today is the first day of the rest of your life. So get out and enjoy it. Get out in the field and see something new. Or find yourself a project and do something new. That's what I'm doing here today. I want to introduce our new trailer that uh, Helen and I just bought. Uh, this is an easy hauler, 6x12. Uh, V-nose, 24 inch V-nose, all aluminum uh, enclosed trailer. <clears throat> it's a uh, clean slate for us in that there's nothing inside and uh, over the next uh, several months we'll do a metamorphosis on this and uh, we'll turn it into a camper trailer that uh, meets our needs and uh, we're still discussing exactly what what that will be and so you guys can come along over the next few months and and uh, man you'll see this thing uh, metamorphosize into a uh, camper trailer and uh, so I think I'll do a walk around with you and show you the trailer as I kind of talk about some of the features okay uh, this model that we bought has a ramp door in the back and uh, this is handy uh, We'll have our ATV along with this part of the time, and so this will enable us to load the ATV into the back of the trailer very easily. The other option is just the barn door, and uh, so let's uh, open this up. You can see how it works. Functions very, very, very easy. Just grab a hold of it, pull it down. And voila, there you go, it's opened up. Um, something else I want to point out uh, when you're doing your due diligence on the trailers, uh, not all trailers are built uh, the same, not all are, are equal. Um, I got my mechanics creeper and I crawled underneath at the lot before I bought this. Uh, crawled underneath it and I inspected all the welds, all the seams, all the flooring, how it meets uh, the structure underneath the trailer, around the perimeter of the walls, just fit and finish. And uh, so you'll want to make sure you do that. Also, in the walls on this trailer, uh, the uh, studs in the walls are on, they're 16 inches on center. Um, that just gives you a lot more stability, a lot more structure. Uh, in the walls and I think that's pretty important especially if you're going to be pulling this um, down gravel roads and kind of some of the off-road type applications which we're going to be doing uh, just gives you a little bit more stability so uh, look into that okay so let's do a, a walk around here uh, the uh, Let's start with the axle, we'll go from the ground up. <clears throat> the, uh, the axle is a 3,500 pound Dexter uh, axle. It does not have brakes on it at this time. I may opt to put those on them at, at a later date. I'll do that myself. It's not the torsion axle. I had initially thought I'd go after a torsion axle, but um, I found this trailer on a lot uh, up in the area where we live and uh, it has the leaf springs so we'll go with those for now if at some point we decide we wanted to go with the torsion ride axle we'll do that it also has an upgrade uh, has the upgraded wheels and uh, aluminum wheels which um, we wouldn't ordinarily do but this was an on-site trailer and we got a really good price on it the exterior is 030 aluminum. Uh, it's a bonded uh, exterior, so it does not have all the screws. So it just gives it a real clean look, and uh, and there's no uh, there are no screws there to pop out, which is kind of nice. Uh, and then it's all finished around the outside with the aluminum trim. You can see um, the man door on the side. Um, that was something that we wanted, uh, to specifically obtain with a, with the paddle handle so it's easy to get in and out and it's just clean. It's more of the mobile home style door. 
<clears throat> though it does not have a screen on the inside. Uh, we'll take care of that <laughs> downstream, however. The, uh, the structure of the trailer, uh, the, the subframe of the trailer is uh, two inch by three inch aluminum tubing. And uh, that in, it's a heavy duty tubing. So that's a good thing. The V-nose on the front is something that we wanted. Uh, gives you extra room on the interior, which is nice. It uh, also uh, helps cut the wind as you're going down the road. And um, as you can see, the, the tongue itself is very, very well constructed. Heavy duty aluminum. And let's go down here. There you go. You can kind of see the the front that's got the 24 inch uh, stone guard on it a two inch ball just a standard uh, jack and then you can see underneath the front of the v there you can see that that is has got structural support aluminum structural support underneath that all the welding is very well done uh, i was quite impressed with it there you go you can kind of see that so Let's go around this way, and then it's got the aluminum trim on either side of the front. Um, diamond plate. The, uh, the roof itself is a one-piece aluminum roof. That was one of the criterion that we, the trailer had to meet, had to have. And uh, that just eliminates... Uh, a great deal of the potential for leaks um, on the roof. The lighting on the trailer is all uh, on the exterior is all LED. Okay, well, we're going to walk around the interior uh, of the trailer now, and the this is an option. It covers the rear garage door spring mechanism, kind of a nice deal, and then. Uh, the ceilings, let me turn around here, I'd get you guys too dizzy, but the ceilings are a Luan material. That's an ad additional option just as well in the trailer. And then it's got the aluminum trim um, along here, along the edge. It also has the aluminum trim piece, <clears throat> which, you know, really, for us isn't a big deal. That is that trim along the bottom there. Um, you know, when we put the floor in here, um, when we start doing the, the, the build out on it, that'll probably come out anyhow and we'll put in you know, wood trim. But uh, as you can see the front V-nose, you know, that that's 24 inches of bonus space and in a small trailer like this, uh, that's that's big. And so uh, likely we'll build a counter up front there um, and uh, have our kind of mini kitchen up that uh, on that side. Okay, and on the man door, the man door has got a, uh, a, a uh, passage lock on it and it's got a deadbolt lock on it. So deadbolt there that you can throw. And then it's got a keyed lock on the outside, and then you just grab that to exit. So that's that's a nice a nice feature to have. Well, thank you guys for spending a little time here with me today, and I hope you got some insights on what to look for on uh, enclosed cargo trailers. And if you're anticipating doing a uh, camper build out like we are, kind of what to look for. And uh, so if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, uh, hit that subscribe button, and pound the bell. You'll get the, the latest notifications uh, as I release uh, new content on the channel. Uh, put us out on your social media. Uh, let other people know that we're out here. Much appreciated on that. And uh, as always, I look forward to seeing you in the great outdoors. Have a great day.